Okay, now that we've got a fairly good solution in the K epsilon turbulence model, um, now I want to uh, change up my model again to use the K omega. Um, and that's because it's better for separated flows. So I'll just stop the simulation and then I'll reselect that one. So I'll deselect the turbulence models and then select K omega and that's it. Then I'll um, continue running this. Uh, it might have been good enough if we just stuck with the K omega, but I just want to uh, show you guys how you can sort of, uh, especially if you're doing unsteady simulation, you normally start with a steady state uh, sort of K epsilon model, and then you'd get sort of initial steady state solution, and then you'd switch over to your unsteady uh, model to continue and that usually results in uh, more stable solutions um, so it's it's more to demonstrate to you that you can do it um, but anyway we'll keep running this uh, on and on and then so once this set is done and the and the residuals are nice and low then uh, we'll go on to uh, do the validation plot and see how well this simulation compares with experiment Okay, our uh, simulation's been running for another night, and uh, from residuals here, you can see that, uh, well, they're not going to get any better, so I guess this is the best uh, solution we've got. So now let's set up, um, let's uh, compare this with the experiment. So, okay, so if we go to um, our reference paper, uh, Sorry, something like this. Um, this is how they do the validation. So they compare their experimental results with um, the simulated results. So experiment is in black here. Now this is um, in terms of uh, a pressure coefficient. So the pressure coefficient um, is uh, basically a ratio of two pressures. So what they do is they measure the pressure on the actual truck here you can see a few of the probes the, the ones in the graph are along the center line and they compare that with um, a reference pressure point which is um, you know somewhere on the wall of the wind tunnel here you can see they've uh, they've uh, marked it out here so um, here we have the position of the reference pressure probe so let's begin by adding a probe in our simulation so we'll go to simulation and the probe is under derived parts so we'll press new part probe then a point probe and now we just want to uh, put in the coordinates but instead of using the laboratory coordinates we're going to use our uh, coordinate system we created earlier so when we put in coordinates, it'll be with respect to that. So if, if I just show you, uh, you do 0, 0, and 0. You can see it's right there. And that's the coordinate system uh, of, our, of our truck. So here I'll put in these coordinates. Um, that's from the origin. So I'll copy that in. That's in X, isn't it? X distance, yeah. Centimeters. And the Z distance is this. Okay. And now the um, if I just enter that in, and then the Oops, sorry. Okay, and the uh, y distance will be half of um, the channel width. I uh, sorry, yeah, it'll be half of the channel width because it's on one side, and that is 1.525 meters. Okay, see you in the next video.